Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now continuing with the lecture series of quadrilaterals, the quadrilateral that we will be discussing today is the rhombus. In this video, we will discuss all the basic and fundamental properties of a rhombus. So without wasting any further time, let's begin with our topic. Now the shape that we have over here is a rhombus. So let's name its vertices as A, B, C and D respectively. Now the first property of a rhombus is that all the sides of a rhombus are equal. So I can say that AB is equal to BC, BC is equal to CD and CD is equal to AD. Now the second property of a rhombus is that opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. So angle A and angle C are equal and angle D and angle B are equal. The third property of a rhombus is that the diagonals of a rhombus are not equal. So I can say that AC is not equal to BD. Now this is one of the major differences between a rhombus and a square. So it is important to note that the diagonals of a rhombus are not equal. The fourth property is as follows. If I name the intersection point as O, then I can say that OD is equal to OB and OA is equal to OC, thus the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So I can say that OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. Now since the diagonals of a rhombus are not equal, then OA is only equal to OC and OB is only equal to OD and OA is not equal to OB and OC is not equal to OD. Now the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees then I can say that AOB, BOC, COD and AOD all are equal to 90 degrees. The fifth property of a rhombus is that the diagonals bisect the angles at the vertices. So if the complete angle is D then this angle is equal to D by 2 and if this complete angle is A then this angle is equal to A by 2 and same is the case for these angles also then these two angles will be B by 2 and C by 2 respectively. The sixth property of a rhombus is that the larger triangles formed by the diagonals are congruent to each other. So I can say that triangle ADC and triangle ABC are congruent to each other and triangle ADB and triangle BDC are also congruent to each other. Also, the four small triangles formed by both the diagonals are also congruent to each other. So if I name the triangles as T1, T2, T3 and T4 respectively, then I can say that T1, T2, T3 and T4 are congruent to each other. Moving on to the perimeter of the rhombus, if I take the length of any side as x, then I can say that perimeter is equal to 4x. The area of a quadrilateral is equal to base into height of the quadrilateral. So the area of a rhombus is also equal to base into height of the rhombus. Now if you know the lengths of the diagonals of the rhombus, suppose it to be D1 and D2 respectively, then the area is also equal to D1 into D2 whole divided by 2. So we can find the area of the rhombus by any of these two formulas. So let's do a quick summary of all the properties discussed about the rhombus. All the sides of a rhombus are equal. The opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. The diagonals of a rhombus are not equal and the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. The diagonals also bisect the angles at the vertices and the triangles formed by the diagonals both small and large are congruent to each other. And if we take the length of side as x, then the perimeter is equal to 4x and its area is equal to base into height. Or if you know the length of the diagonal, suppose it to be d1 and d2, then the area is t1 into d2 whole divided by 2. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve it out as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy 
and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.